all know him as one of the richest people in the world and of course Bill Gates has used his billionaire status to buy some pretty impressive real estate. His main home in Washington even has its own page on Wikipedia and it's worth mega millions. Aside from Bill's main mansion, he owns property all over including a giant ranch in California and much more. In this video we'll be taking a look at his massive estate in Washington, the ranch, his other properties and even his car collection. William Henry Gates III, who we better know as Bill Gates, is a successful businessman, software developer, investor and more. Most notably, he's the co-founder of Microsoft. During his career at Microsoft, he held the positions of chairman, CEO, president and chief software architect, while being the largest individual shareholder up until 2014. At the time of this recording, Bill is 64 years old and he's one of the most famous entrepreneurs of our time, as well as a pioneer of the microcomputer revolution. Although he stepped down from his lead role at Microsoft, he remains a tech advisor to the current CEO. Bill is also a philanthropist and dedicates a majority of his time and money to charity. Him and his wife own the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is reported to be the world's largest private charity. They donate large amounts of money to multiple organizations, and this is only one of Bill's many philanthropic projects. At the moment, his current net worth is at a whopping 98 billion US dollars, making him one of the richest people in the world, right behind Jeff Bezos. You already know with that money, Bill owns some luxury homes. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be looking at where billionaire Bill Gates calls home, including his mega mansion in Medina, Washington that's unlike any other, his other properties and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Jeff Bezos and Oprah and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. We'll start with Bill's futuristic main estate where he spends most of his time that even has its own name and page on Wikipedia. Bill's home is called Zanadu 2.0, I hope I pronounced that right, and it's said he named it after the fictional home of Charles Foster Kane, the main character in Citizen Kane. It's located in Medina, Washington, which is a mainly residential city in Eastside Washington, situated on Lake Washington. It's not highly populated, but a lot of big shots call that place home because of the extreme privacy. In fact, one of Bill's neighbors here is none other than Jeff Bezos. Zanadu 2.0 took Bill 7 years to build and somewhere around $63 million. However, property taxes reveal that the estate is worth closer to $148 million these days. It's an earth sheltered house which means it was built into its surroundings in order to regulate temperature more efficiently so it's eco friendly. Tall trees are also planted all around the residence to safeguard against heat loss. Bill's mega mansion was built in a Pacific Lodge style and spans a massive 66,000 square feet of space. Despite the humongous size, there's only 7 bedrooms, but it's made up for with the amount of kitchens and bathrooms. Bill has 6 kitchens and 24 bathrooms, 10 of which have bathtubs. The roof of Zanadu 2.0 is stainless steel and the woods used in construction are rare species from around the world. There are several different garages in the property and one is even an underground cave made out of concrete and steel. That one alone can hold 10 cars and in total he has garage space for 23. But I'll tell you some of the luxury cars he keeps there a little later. Bill's home is full of high tech features because what else would you expect? From the heated driveways and floors to the fact that guests can wear pins that track their movement inside the home and more, he has it all. Despite the the fact that Bill has 80k worth of computer screens throughout the mansion, don't even think about bringing your iPhone in here. Apparently he prohibits the use of Apple devices on his property. Climate and lighting inside the rooms of the mansion are monitored by a sensor system and the pins that guests are given upon their arrival allows them to control the sensors. The settings can change from one room to another as one moves around the house too. Classic features of Bill's home include a home movie theater with room for 20, a 2500 square foot fitness center and a thousand square foot dining Room. There's also a huge reception hall spanning 2300 square feet with room for 200 guests. It has a 6 foot wide limestone fireplace on one wall and a 22 foot wide video screen on the other. The private library in the mansion has a dome shaped roof and spans over 2000 square feet with two secret bookcases including one that reveals a hidden bar. This room is home to a 16th century 
Leonardo da Vinci manuscript that Bill bought at an auction for a massive 30 mil in the early 90s. On the ceiling, you'll find a quote from The Great Gatsby saying, He had come a long way to this blue lawn and his dream must have seemed so close that he could hardly fail to grasp it. Different paintings or photos can be displayed on the wall screens throughout the home with a single touch. And the real art he owns includes some of the fanciest, like a Winslow Homer painting on the wall Bill bought for 36 million. Another interesting room Bill built has got to be the 6 meter high trampoline room. I haven't heard of one of those in a home before. The large gym I mentioned earlier also includes a sauna, steam room and locker room. Outside of Bill's home, you'll find an artificial stream running through the property that even holds trout and salmon. The beach here has sand he gets imported yearly from the Caribbean islands. His 60-foot swimming pool is in its own separate building that spans 3,900 square feet and also has an underwater music system. Here you can swim underneath a glass wall that leads up to a terrace area on the outside. Bill's house is impressive to say the least and he also hosts yearly tours here, or at least he used to. But if you want to see the inside of Bill's futuristic home, it'll cost you. They hold a Microsoft charity auction where this is one of the prizes in one year a personal tour and appetizers with Bill went for about 35k. Although Bill's Washington estate would be more than enough for anyone considering he's a billionaire he has other homes too, like a 228 acre horse farm in Rancho Santa Fe, California. The estate is also known as the Rancho Pasena and is located about 20 minutes north of San Diego in a mainly residential area. The property previously belonged to weight loss expert Jenny Craig and the family owned it for over a decade. She hoped to sell the place to someone else who had a passion for horses, considering it was a horse training facility. Bill's daughter had been participating in horseback riding competitions for years, so it was perfect for the family. Apparently, Bill paid about $18 million for the ranch back in 2014. There's a three-quarter mile racetrack, four 30-stall barns, and a fifth barn with 21 stalls. Not to mention an office, a veterinarian suite, and an olive orchard. The property also has a guest house and two apartments. At Rancho Pasena's peak, it housed about 300 horses, but the Craigs closed it in 2013 for financial reasons. I assume that these days the horse facilities are being used once again for the Gates family, especially Bill's daughter Jennifer. Not to mention the property is 5 minutes from the Del Mar racetrack where she often had competitions. These properties aren't all that Bill owns of course either. He also maintains another horse farm in Wellington, Florida which he bought for $8.7 million in 2013. Some years back it was reported that Bill racked up several daily fines at this home due to keeping his horse wage storage facility too close to the pond. Ew. 2009 sources say that Bill also bought a ranch in Wyoming that used to belong to Buffalo Bill Cody, spending 492 acres of land. Though the price was never revealed, it was originally listed for just under $9 million. Bill also made plenty of real estate investments through his personal investment firm Cascade. This includes a partial ownership of the upscale Charles Hotel in Cambridge, Massachusetts and something like almost half of the Four Seasons hotel chain. He was was also one of the buyers of the Ritz in San Francisco. Cascade has also been linked to the purchase of more than 4,500 acres of farmland in Suwannee County, Florida, cost about $28 million. Aside from all his real estate, Bill also likes to spend his fortune on his wheels. Considering he has garage space at his main mansion for 23 cars, it's pretty obvious. He's an avid luxury car collector with his first major purchase after founding Microsoft being a Porsche 911 supercar, later auctioning it off for 80 k Bill owns other Porsches including a Porsche 930 and a 1988 Porsche 959 coupe he uses as a daily car. Aside from these, he has a Jaguar XJ6, a Ferrari 348, and a Ford Focus. I know a Ford isn't fancy, but Bill does drive it to the office from time to time, or at least he used to. So now we've looked at Bill Gates' insane properties like his main estate in Medina, Washington, also known as Zanadu 2.0, and his ranch or horse farm in Southern California. What did you guys think of his high-tech main mansion? Honestly, I didn't expect anything less from the founder of Microsoft. He thought of everything when constructing his dream home. From the pool to the eco-friendly features and everything in between. Aside from Bill's real estate and car collection, he's also known to spend his $98 billion on things like his private jet, valued at $19.5 million, and owning his very own island in Belize. It's also great that Bill gives back so much of his wealth to charity, basically half of it. Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from our previous videos. On our Leonardo DiCaprio house tour, Carmen Dilchard wrote, I love Leo. Not only is he extremely good looking, he's a phenomenal actor. Thanks for the comment, Carmen. I agree. He's one of the best, that's for sure. And on our recent Ellen DeGeneres house tour, Cat Bewitched wrote, 
out. Okay, this would be a great place for social distancing. Looking at these celeb homes now, I realize how lucky they are to be isolated in those gorgeous mansions. Probably feels so spacious. All right, guys, that's all I could find on Bill Gates' homes, including his main high-tech mansion in Medina, Washington. What did you guys like best about his houses? I think my favorite part was the pool with the underwater music system and the trampoline room. I mean, at least his family is probably having fun during this quarantine. Let me know in the comments, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!